Hey, everyone. Hi. How are you all? Good morning. It's Monday. It's Monday, the start of a brand new week. Good morning. Hi, Dawn. Hey, another Dawn. Hi, Dawn and Dawn with an E and Peggy Jean. It was cold in Arkansas. Oh, you got the Empress. Yeah, if mine hasn't come yet. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Melissa. Hi, <laughs> Leslie. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Annette. Hey, so brand new week here at Cricket Chat. We've got so much in store for you this week, including, um, well, we're going to be doing some stickers and decals today, but we've got other things coming up. Hello, Connie. Um, you ordered the Empress. Everybody's going to get the Empress. My Empress should be coming soon. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Plus, I've been playing around with a couple of new little tools and gadgetsy things. So that's fun. Um, and of course, we will go back to my love, which is paper crafting. Um, so we've got a lot to, to talk about this week. And I want to just remind you that um, Cricket has an announcement that they're going to be making at, let's see, I think they said it was 10 o'clock East, well, 10 o'clock mountain time, which is their time. So I think that's noon if you're on Eastern time zone, I think. But you definitely want to um, log in for that announcement because I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, so it's noon Eastern time, our time noon. Okay. Thank you. Noon Eastern. So it's 10 o'clock mountain. And um, so, yeah, come and, and uh, enjoy what is going to be unveiled. Um, and that will be fun. Also, uh, to, <coughs> to remind you that there are just a few more days for you to get your name in for this darling Sunflower Yellow. Cricket Cutie that is, um, it was in a release, it was a re-release from several years ago, first time I've seen it in several years, and it seems rather, um, rather, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, precipitous? No. Oh, well, it seems rather fortunate that it's the same color as the Ukrainian uh, flag. And it's also called sunflower, which is the Ukrainian, um, their Ukrainian flower. So, um, uh, good morning. So, good morning. Yeah, I can't, I, my lips are sealed um, and definitely want to show up at uh, Eastern time noon or mountain time that is 10 o'clock for the big announcement from cricket so um so definitely if you are interested in getting this uh cricket cutie the sunflower cutie all you need to do is follow me on facebook and put your name in i will make sure to post the link also remember in march we have a huge giveaway because i'm trying like hack <laughs> to hit a 20,000 subscribers and um, it's gone it's been going a little slow this month so far um, so we need to ramp that up because the prizes are awesome there uh, let's see there's um, the Cricut Bright 360 the wonderful table lamp that's a retail value value of $200. There's also an Easy Press mini uh, uh, essentials bundle, I think it's called, with everything, uh, including the mat and all kinds of things that you can use to to uh, iron on with that mini. It's so cute. Um, and then there are three 
bundles. Two of them are called essentials bundles and one is called everything and everything bundle. Uh, so I will um, hopefully, I, I've been posting pictures, but you just have to put your name in and help me get to uh, to 20,000 subscribers, which I'm hoping we can do by the end of the month. I'm hopeful. Um, hello, you guys, what are you chewing on? They're chewing on something. Um, and uh, hold on just a second. What are you chewing on? Doesn't sound good. What are you chewing on? No, okay. I don't know what he's chewing on, but my Lola girl's being so good sitting right here next to me, but the boys are always just so mischievous. So um, anyway, so there's a huge giveaway going on here right at Cricket Chat with Miss Rita, and you will have the opportunity to put your name in once a day. And at the end of the month, we're going to pick all the names and announce them. So, uh, so you have the whole month to get your name in. So I'm, I'm hoping that this will help people with um, that. Maybe they're not so good with delayed gratification because we, we we've been doing like announcements throughout the month, but um, but I wanted to make sure that everybody got their name in for um, for all the prizes. You know what I mean? So, so that's why I did it this way this month. Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't, but we'll have a big party at the end. I am hopeful that it will work anyway. Um, thank you so much, Cindy. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Leilani, we'll be in the car with you. Um, okay. So today, how, oh, you know, this war is, and I'm calling it a war. I'm sorry, but I'm calling it a war. Um, it, is raging on and I just watch the news and I get so very sad um, for Ukraine. Um, my, my friends from Ukraine and um, there I'm, I'm, I'm very, I get very, very sad when, especially when you start seeing things that are, you know, they're, they're not, the richest country in the world. So they are the biggest country in Europe, um, Eastern Europe, but they, but they don't have a lot of money and somebody else has a lot of money. And, and, um, and, you know, it's weird. It's just a weird situation. It's not much that I, we can do about it. Um, but what we can do is show our support. And even if it's just to keep the war, which may go on for a long time, but um, we need to keep it fresh in people's heads. Um, and yeah, I thought we were above war. I really did. I thought we, we had gone past it. I thought we saw the, the end of war that our grandparents knew, but, you know, no, I guess not. So one of the things is prayer, and I do strongly believe in prayer. Um, I also believe in in reminding our power, the powers that be, to support um, to support the underdog. And in this case, they are the underdog. And let me tell you, um, Ukrainians are scrappy. They, and I think you've seen that if you've never heard of Ukraine or Ukrainians, but all of the Ukrainians that I know were hard workers, scrappy, sort of, you know, like gonna put up a fight for what's theirs. And they've been through so much prior to this war that um it's sort of like embedded in their brains to fight so um so and they're doing a great uh, they're doing a great job um and so uh so prayer and support and just get keeping keeping it in front of our of our um 
powers that be that w- other people are thinking of it. This isn't just like a one day news thing and then that's it. We don't want it to turn into uh, another Afghanistan or whatever, Syria. I don't even know where we were for all those years. Um, so uh, one of the things that I decided to do was come up with a um a sheet of stickers. My son really, really loves stickers. And, you know, we did stickers a little over a week ago to do um, for Black History Month. And I know that people want also to do Easter stickers and we've got to do Women's Women's History Month as well. So um, I last week I put together these stickers that I'm going to show you that they're right here on my screen. Now, unfortunately, I cannot share this file because it is, uh, the images are almost all taken from free files that I got from Google, but I'm going to show you how to make them. Um, Now, these are stickers, okay? There's a difference between a decal, which is something you would maybe put on your car window or maybe a laptop or something like that. There's a difference between a decal and a sticker. A sticker is usually a very um, intricate image that is turned into a print and cut and then is printed on printable material. So in this case, this set of images, which I'm going to show you how to get them uh, and how to prepare them for um, your stickers is printed on printable vinyl, which is a very nice product from Cricut. Um, Printable vinyl, it's much better than the printable sticker paper. And I really like it. I always have it in stock because it works out really well. But you can also use sticker paper. But to be honest, um, I like this printable vinyl. It's it's less apt to tear than sticker paper. And, um, and it cuts pretty well. Now, I don't know. Everybody keeps talking about a larger print than cut area. But this is the... is the largest it can go and it's almost the entire page i don't know what how much larger people think it's gonna go i mean, I, I don't know i i don't get it but um maybe people who have printers that can print larger than eight and a half by 11 i don't know but um so there's the print then cut and the largest it goes is um, nine and a quarter by six and three quarters, which this is printed on eight and a half by 11. So there is a small amount around about an inch, a little inch and a half, and then maybe an inch here and here that you're losing. But to be honest, if you do this the right way, you're maximizing the use of your images. Now, um, I I was going to just mention this one here is one that I created. I'm sorry about the green paper, but it's all I had when I was sticking it on. Um, this is actually cut out from vinyl and it's, it's essentially, uh, it's waterproof and it's made from vinyl. If this is something you guys want to know how to make, I'm happy to go over it, but I just thought I would just mention that's the difference between a sticker, which are these, um, not waterproof, but very detailed, uh, images versus a decal that could go like on your car. Okay. So um, let's talk about images. So there is one image, but it's only one image in, um, in design space that could, that could be used for, uh, for Ukraine. And you'll see it when you go to, um, I believe it's a Ukrainian flag, colors of the Ukrainian flag right here. There it is. And it's free, which is lovely. And you could make a whole bunch of those and put them um, on sticker paper. If that's what you want to do, you can definitely do that. But um, I'm going to go to my internet browser. I'm going to go to, whoop, there's an order that I was placing. I'm going to Google. So here's Google. And I'm going to just type in free Ukraine 
I put down um, SVGs for cricket. Now, um, free, I typed it in twice because it's free Ukraine. And then we want them to be free. And what I want to show you um, here is that what comes up, and this is Google, right, is is their images. And up here, you can also see images, but down here is usually images. So if you go and click on this, you'll see that there are a lot of images. And in fact, in the week that's gone by, there's way more than, um, than there was before. So um, for instance, these here stand with Ukraine, pray for Ukraine, there's a Ukraine, you know, the, the fist, um, fate will smile on us young brothers. That's beautiful. Um, so these ones here all say free and that's great because, um, free is good, right? <laughs> um, and that's what we're looking for. But if we are, you know, not pleased with that, these ones here, um, we might want to look even further than this. So I started looking at all of these. Now, I don't know why I'm getting all of these other things. So I'm going to go back up to my image search and I'm just going to try type in free Ukraine image like that. Okay. And then this is definitely different because I put SVG in there, right? Um, so these are all links and they're also images. Um, but, uh, but some of them are copyright protected. So we need to be very careful of that. So here, for example, this is a Getty image. And if we were to click on this, it has a watermark on the flag. So that's to keep people like us from stealing their image of the flag. And that's just something that designers do. Sometimes, though, designers will post an image maybe for a blog post or something like that. And, um, and then they, uh, they don't expect you to take them or they are uh, they are free. So you really have to research these and um, make sure. So this one here is from a company called Vector Stock and information will be listed down here. So to me, it says it's uh, royalty free. Okay. And um, so we can go ahead and look at some of these you know, um, and see, are there some that here's an interesting one with the fingerprint. Um, and so you do need to do your own homework. Okay. But when you do this, you can find these images. And if you're working on a computer, um, you can save these images to your desktop or to your downloads file. Okay. So um, let's go ahead. I'm going to go and refresh this and have a look. So here's one that I really liked this one. It's, this is um, stands in Kiev in the middle of the square in Kiev. So it's very, it's a very noticeable, like a well-known image and I love it. Free Ukraine. It was part of a podcast and you do need to have a look and make sure that, um, that it is not copyrighted because you don't want to take something, but, um, so there's a bunch here and you just need to do a little bit of research, but if you've done the research and you really, you know, um, like it, look at this one, the UK stands with Ukraine. I love that. Um, this one here, I stand with Ukraine. So what you can do is I'm on a, I'm on a Macintosh. So it's going to be a little bit different, but what you can do is you can do, um, let's see on a Macintosh, I believe you do shift command four, and then you have a little vector thing and you can select this image, which is what I'm doing. And the image will appear down here and then it will also appear in my um 
desktop. So let's have a look at my desktop because I think those images are there. Yes, I have a lot of screenshots here that I did last week. And these are screenshots. So they're going to be in, um, let's see, they're going to be in, see, this is free Ukraine, Ukraine, all of these. They're going to be in like a JPEG format. So I want to show you how you would bring this image to the um to the Cricut design space okay um so here we go so let's go back to Cricut and we're gonna um actually go back to the canvas because um I just want to leave this as an example and I will um shade it out so let's say you went on the internet and you found a bunch of images that you thought, wow, I can make stickers and my kid will use them because that's what my kid does. <laughs> and as you can see, you know, I do a lot of stickers for him. He loves stickers. So he's 16 and he puts them everywhere. So, um, so here we are at, at um, a blank Cricut Design Space canvas and what we're going to do is go here to upload okay um so let's go to upload and we're going to choose upload images very much like these that we've done before okay so let's do upload image and when we do that we're going to be going to browse but instead of going <clears throat> to the downloads the downloads, sorry. Um, I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where all my screenshots are. Okay. So here is the one we just did. I stand with Ukraine and I'm going to open it now because this is not an SVG. Okay. There's a different SVG JPEG. I'm I'm going under the assumption that this is going to be a print and cut image okay because um you will not get this sort of um this sort of detail with an svg you have to buy an svg for it you know i, I would say you'd have to buy it or you'd have to know how to use photoshop or um inkscape or some other features okay so um th this is an image and it wants you to it wants to find out what kind of an image type now already i see that there are these little like checkerboard below it behind it so that to me indicates that it's a pretty simple image and then i'm going to go continue okay now this is a fairly new thing it's called background remover okay and in this case believe it or not we have no background to remove um, I, I don't think, and if we hit remove background, it might try to remove that. Yeah. Which we don't want to do. So let's revert back. Um, and if there were something around here, uh, which we saw when we first came, um, then, then we would probably want to like select and just like take care of the background, but we don't have to do it for this image. Okay. So we don't have to use the automatic background remover. All we have to do is hit apply and continue. And then you're faced with these two images. Now, obviously this isn't what you want. This is if it were a cut image. And as I mentioned before, we want a print then cut image. So we have to make sure we select that and if we want to um we can rename it i stand with ukraine flag okay and you can even put tags in there if you want and we're going to upload so we're going to continue to do this let's go and look at the other images that i have um so this one is pray for ukraine and also very simple because this is a very simple and thankfully the Ukrainian flag having only two colors really doesn't need a whole lot of, um, of, 
you know, detail or whatever. So, so we'll just go through this and um, there are some like, for instance, this one, which I really liked, or this one's a good one, which I really liked, but it came in and here it's a kind of a moderately complex. So I'm going to hit this. Now I'm going to hit the background remover here and you'll see it does a good job of removing the background, but the letters are really, um, are really not that great. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, to change this. And I'm actually going to revert back here and select and just erase the back here. I'm going to hit apply and continue. And I'm going to choose print and cut because I'm going to show you how to basically create it from scratch. Okay. Uh, there's another one for Ukraine and simple continue and no need to do this, but that is not the best image. So we can um, create our own image as well. So here we go, doing this to all of them. This one here, the one I mentioned, um, the free Ukraine one. So this is simple. Again, continue. Now, one of the things that I did notice when I did this is that I got this little snippet here. And you can't really erase it um, with ease. So you do have to... Um, you do have to choose, if you chose erase and you erase this, you would be losing some of this background. So we don't want to do that. There's the remove background. So we want to go back and we want to just um, make a change when we're on the canvas. So we're going to apply and then we'll choose print then cut. You see, now let me see. I'll try to get like one more here. This is the trident from the, from the flag. So beautiful. And um, so we'll choose moderately complex and we want to get rid of this background, but it, maybe not this white. Okay. We can do the white. So let's apply print then cut all of this. So now we have two, four, six images, and let's bring them all into our, um, into our canvas. So I'm just selecting them all and choosing add to canvas. Now, some of them, as I mentioned, the quality is not that great. So you might be inspired by the design, but you might want to consider changing the image. Okay. Um, tomorrow's International Women's Day. Is it? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm going to have to change my plans. <laughs> I had something else planned for tomorrow. Um, okay. So they come in at all different sizes and all different types here. Um, and some of them are really rather big, like this one is rather big. And, um, this here, this one here, this free Ukraine, I'm going to make it big so you can see that the quality of the images isn't great. So even if it becomes a, you flatten it and choose uh, print and cut, you know, whatever, the quality is not great, but the design is useful, right? So what I would suggest is you go on over to your uh, shapes and you choose a square with the uh, a square with the edge that's a uh, right angle edge, not the not the uh, other kind. And we will go ahead and imitate this like this. All right, we're going to split it in half and change the color. But um, then what I want to do is go to text. And did you guys see this text thing where you don't no longer have that little box? I think that's awesome. So I'm going to choose free and then Ukraine. Okay. And this is not the, um, the text that I want, I can still go up here and change the font. And actually what I like from my system is Arial, 
um, because it's sort of uh, it's sort of like a standard. So I'm going to choose Arial, and I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to advanced ungroup to lines, and then I am going to kind of work on the size by ungrouping, you see, and I'm like kind of replacing this over here so I can reinvent this sticker without um, without having to buy an SVG. These are all the fun little tricks that you can do with design space. So here we go. There it is. Um, and then here, we actually are going to um, make this the size of one like this. And we'll change this to blue and then we'll duplicate it and change it to yellow like this. And then we can take our free and we can just, you don't have to do any slicing or anything like this. You can just change the color to yellow, put it where you want it. And then the same thing here. Let's arrange this to the front though and change the color to blue. And now we're having, we're looking at this side by side. So let's go ahead and sort of line these up the way that we want them to, and this looks good. Although I might choose Arial Bold because it will look thicker. Now I'll still have to change the color back to blue. This one, change it to Arial Bold, okay? Change the color to yellow. Now we have a replica of this sticker. Um, we do need to make sure that these are, are put together correctly because then what we're going to do is select the whole thing, the whole thing, and then we're going to come down here to flatten. We're going to flatten this. Okay. And by doing that, you notice it does look different because now when you flatten it, you are turning it into one layer. So now we no longer need this one. So there you go. We can use that instead. This looks good so we don't have to worry about changing it but we need to talk about um, size here because as i mentioned we can go ahead and um, make a whole sticker sheet of these but we want to conserve our product right so this is a little trick that I learned oh, like two years ago that is really helpful. And I, I hope everybody pays attention because it's really important. Um, so the maximum space allowed for print and cut is six and three quarters by nine and a quarter. Okay, which as we talked about is close to eight and a half by 11. It's still bigger than it used to be. Um, some people aren't happy with that size, but frankly, I think it's if you know how this trick, you, you're not going to complain so much. So go in to shapes and select a square. Then take the square, unlock it and go up here to size. Change that size, the width side to 6.75, and then the height size to 9.25. This will make sense, believe me. So I'm going to make my screen so you can see it more. Now this becomes the area in which all of your images must fall. If they are here, let me, we're going to also change it to arrange it to the back. But if they are like slightly over here or over here like this, that will not work. But you can take this this um, square or this, now it's a rectangle, and start plopping in your images. And you can resize them and put them all here if you want to resize them, if you want to duplicate them. Here we go. 
you can make some big, some small, and then you can duplicate them. And as long as they all fit, I, I think the maximum I've ever gotten in here is like 20. So 20 stickers on one sheet of, of, um, of vinyl, I think is pretty darn good. Now, if we were not to do this, um, if we were not to make this little square thing, then you will have um, the machine deciding how many it can print. And believe me, the machine decides you can probably have two and that's about it. So um, I rather kind of fool the machine and, um, and do it this way. And that way I get quite a few stickers obviously you know the amount of stickers if you wanted something small I like the size about somewhere between one and a half to two and a half inches so this one is like just under two that's one and a half like this and I'm just kind of playing a little puzzle game and and uh, duplicating them and trying to squish as many as I want. Now, clearly, if you had the exact same image and you wanted to make, and we'll make, we'll leave this over here, but let's say you want to just make this Ukrainian trident from the flag to be, that's all you wanted to do. You didn't want to do these free Ukraine things. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But here we go, three, six, nine, twelve. 15 stickers on this and I'm not even trying. Okay. So um, I'm not even trying all that hard. So what we're going to do is carefully remove this back and then select all of these and we are going to attach it. So the square is six and three quarters. Write it down until you remember it. It's six and three quarters, 6.75 times 9.25 okay so it's the width is 6.75 height 9.25 now now that we've removed this background you can see this is all one image and when we go to print it i'm just going to show you oh, okay we we will see that it is going to appear on one sheet instead of a bunch okay so here we go okay i don't know what's going on maybe it's my empress being delivered who knows but here we go now i have this one sheet and i can go ahead and do a print then cut so before I do that, I'm going to come back here because I want to show you that other trick, okay? So let's say you have one image that you really, really like, and uh, I like this, the trident, okay? And I want to make a whole sheet of the trident. So I'm going to reintroduce my square that is 6.75 by 9.25. And then I am going to decide how big I want this. This is uh, 2.2, but I think two would be better. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And once the duplicates are there, watch this. So I can get four across at two inches and I can go straight up here to right to the edge, but you do not want them touching. Okay. So four cross is what we have. Take this away and then select it and duplicate that several times. Come on. It's not duplicate. There it is. So now we have all of our duplicates without having to press that duplicate button a gazillion times. And here we have four, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to get 16. Um, this is how I would do things for my soap making, which is just like, I wanted to get the maximum out of uh, like soap 
So I would do all these little things to sort of save space. And you could even get more on here. The point is that this is how you would duplicate and get all the same. Um, and then once you have them all within your square, remove the square, select them all, hit attach. And now we have two sheets of stickers. Let's get rid of this one because we don't need it and we'll hide our square. So now we have two sheets that we're going to print, okay? So then we're gonna hit make it. When we hit make it, we'll see that we have two different mats each with a square around them. These squares are important for printing because they um, are going to show us or show the machine where the area is. That's why we need that, that um, space around the print and cut. All right, and here's the second one right there, okay? So then we're gonna hit continue and we're gonna get to here. This is the cutting area, but first you see this green bar or button. It says send to the printer. So we're going to send it to the printer and you do need a printer that is somewhat attached. And I'm hoping that this is just a misprint on here um, and not a problem because I tried this right before we went live. But anyway, um, I am going to use the system dialog and I'm going to remove the bleed. Okay. And you do need to print these separately. You're going to need to print these separately. So I'm taking away the bleed. I'm adding the system dialog. I'm going to hit print and then you'll see it doing something and you'll be like, why isn't it doing something? If it doesn't show up, if this does not show up, make sure you make your um, your window smaller so that way you can see this, all right? Now, I'm using a old HP NV. It's a 5640 series, not anything you want to run out and get. Um, and uh, all I'm doing is I'm going to change the quality to best, and then I'm going to hit print. And when I hit print, it's going to print on my printer, which is right next um, next to me, okay? Um, then I'm going to move to the second sheet here, and I'm going to do the same thing. Send it to the printer, um, and I'm going to remove bleed, but add the system dialog, hit print. Hopefully, my system dialog will appear on the front. It does. Change my quality to best and then hit print, okay? And we just have to wait for it to print before we go ahead and put it on our mat. Now, if you're changing your quality to best and you don't have the best quality printer, you might have, um, you might have, uh, I did attach, I did not flatten. All the images, this is all blurry. Really? Mm. You guys, I did, I did have my internet come in and fix my, um, my internet. I hope that I have a good, I still have a good, it's not, it's all blurry. And we're waiting for it to print. So here is my printout, right? Like this. And um, it's got the black around it. Um, and we're going to put it on to the mat. Now let me move you down. Hopefully that will help with the blurriness. So I'm just taking a mat and I'm putting this up here on my mat and I'm putting it on the top left corner of the mat as you can see it's a nice new mat okay and I am going to from my from my print screen my cut screen I'm going to choose a material now in this case you can choose printable vinyl but I like to use the washi tape setting 
So I'm going to type in washi and you'll see that there's washi sheet and then there's also washi tape. I just choose sheet and then I hit more and I hit remember my settings. Now I'm ready to go and cut this out. So this is a pretty awesome way to, um, to make stickers, I think. And the machine does a pretty awesome job of it. So I'm putting it in my machine. I choose that washi sheet, and then I'm going to hit the button when it starts to blink, okay? But do remember if you're doing this to make sure that your page is dry. Um, if you're using Bass, there'll be a lot of ink there. So give it a couple minutes to dry before you put it in your machine or else you could end up with a little messy, uh, messy result. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, that it's blurry. I don't know what to do about it. I really, I really don't know what to do. I apologize. She used to put a plain sheet of paper in front close of the camera. So let's try that. So I'm using, today I'm using printable. Um, let's try that again because I think I may be, she might have been on to something there. Let's try. Um, I am using printable vinyl and that's what this is printable vinyl. This one is from Cricut. You can use label paper. I usually get my label paper from, um, from online labels.com. It's a great resource and the prices are very good. So you can usually get like a hundred sheets for less than $20. Obviously they have like the, the fancy like shiny sheets as well, but they go up in price. So if you want matte, they're about $20. All right. I think I have a problem here though. You know what? I think this is cutting all wrong and I don't know why it is cutting all wrong. Why? <gasps> oh my gosh. I did something stupid. This is cut, oh, darn. Look over here. It cut this sheet and not my flag sheet. So I wasted a whole sheet. Isn't that awful? It cut the second sheet instead of the first one. So I need to make sure I indicate to the machine that I'm cutting the other sheet and then we'll just go ahead so i just did something dumb as i was talking and i didn't check before i hit that go button so let's check it i'm going to check it again and it will um cut appropriately sadly this is just not working um and i will show you what i mean if you're saying well how do you know that rita um, I was looking at the cut head, you know, the, the carriage and how it was working. And I noticed that, hey, the screen's better. Eh, still kind of dumb. So here is how I know. Here's my, my image. Look at how it's cutting out all of the images. And I was like, why is it doing that? Because I had the cutting on the wrong page. Okay. So I did, I did mess up that. Also, by the way, when I did the cutaway cards on Saturday night, afterwards I went to Cricut and I said, why am I having this problem? And all the other product experts said, 
that they didn't have that problem that I had. So um, I'm going to try them again when I get more cutaway cards. And hopefully we can come back and maybe I won't have the problem. I did have a brand new blade and a new mat. And I was adhering the backing on at first. And I was using the correct setting. Um, but I don't know. And if I have a problem again, I will um, have them check out my machine. Because it's perhaps my machine. That's all I can think of. Um, and I might have to just just always use the, the t bigger set it, setting. All right. I won't call myself dumb. Oh, hi, Anna Maria. How are you? So, yes, when you're doing this, make sure you're choosing the correct. Um, can you do a partial page of stickers? Yeah, you sure can. You don't have to do this technique, but if you are... Um, if you are wanting to get the most out of your sticker paper, because we pay a lot of money for these products, um, this is how they go. You know, this is how you would do it. But you could, you could just, you know, make two big ones and put it on a notebook. I did that yesterday, uh, not yesterday, last week when we, um, when we were uh, making the Black History Month ones. Now here on, this is the washi setting again with more. And all I'm doing is I'm taking off the part that I don't need that are not stickers. And then I can give these to, I got to tell you a funny thing in a second. So um, yesterday I spent the whole day cleaning my craft studio the whole day and um i put things that they've never been before and i was like this is really good and um i even moved the guinea pig well um and i set everything up and then i kept the dogs out at, at the end of the day when i was leaving now this morning they are exploring and they're finding all kinds of things because they're short but they are very uh clever and so <laughs> so they are finding all kinds of things while i'm talking because they know i can't just get up and do you know go after them so okay here are our stickers let's see how good they stick how well they stick um just like this. There we go. And you can put it on anything. I'm just putting it on my piece of paper. But there you go. There's your really fun, cool sticker that you made using print and cut. Okay. Um, and uh, it's super simple. You just, once you've done it a couple of times, so I suggest get yourself a package of this print, uh, printable vinyl. And it, cause it's on sale, I think right now it's like six bucks and um, it comes with 10 sheets and, uh, and try it. And the first couple of times, Maybe you'll mess up, but once you do it a couple of times, you'll figure it out and you'll be making all these lovely stickers that you can, you know, give to your friends or you could even sell them. I had some people ask me if, if I would make some for sale, but I never sell my stuff, but isn't that great? It's just, it's just a cool trick and you shouldn't be afraid. It is a really fun project. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you later on if you can make it. We'll see you later on for the cricket announcement, the big announcement. Um, and uh, I hope that you're going to enjoy it. Um, and, and yeah. So thanks so much for coming. And we'll see you again in a few hours. Okay. Take care. Bye.